Martin Scanlon, award-winning picture book author and, and general all-around nice person. And she has a new picture book, Noodle and Lou. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this, sports fans. Is that not adorable? So anyway, I've invited Liz here to talk about it. So give us the rundown on Noodle and Lou. Noodle and Lou is, um, is really my first picture book with true identifiable characters. Mm. I've, done, I've written sort of concept books up until now, I guess. That's true. The characters have been in the illustrations in my previous books, and this is really character-centric. So, it's about a worm and a bird who are can, friends. Can everybody see? There's, there's the worm. I'm not, everything is backwards here. So there's, there's a noodle and the, the inimitable Lou. Noodle who, and Lou, and who are friends. Like unlikely friends, though. Right. When I read this to kids, someone always goes, worms, birds eat worms. <laughs> Kind of distressed, but these guys are buddies. They're they've, like the ultimate odd couple. They figured out a way to overcome their differences. Yeah, they are like most of us are not uh, not just like our friends, but I appreciative think, of of who we are. I think what's wonderful about about Noodle and Lou is the um, that the fact that Noodle is really suffering at his own from his own insecurities. Wouldn't you say? He is. That's actually how I first started th started working on this manuscript was mm -hmm. looking at a worm in the garden, acknowledging to myself how important the worm was, and then thinking, I wonder if worms know they're important. Probably not. Good question. Right? Like, they don't look like they know they're important. They're kind of slimy and squirmy and pale and not wildly attractive by our standards. Right. And so I started thinking, really, we're all like that in a way. Like, sometimes other people have to tell us why we're important. And he is really down on himself. He, he looks is. pretty jolly this, here, um, but this is when things right. have picked up. This little guy at the beginning is so bereft. And, and Lou is such a hero. He's such a champion of his little friend. And so this book really is a friendship story in a million ways. So, I think most of us have either been Noodle or Lou, oh, absolutely. or both at times in our life, and so can really recognize that, how, how you can't always be the one to lift yourself up. Mm -hmm. I want to tell <clears throat> our, our listeners that it is written in rhyme, and I think of you as a maestro of rhyme. Oh, thank so, you. And it is, it really is a story. Like you say, in the, in the past, your books have been concept books, and mm -hmm. so... And those actually really, lend, they almost call, they call out for rhyme, I think. But to tell an actual story with a beginning, middle, and end in rhyme is really tough. And so do you want to talk about that just briefly? I mean, how did you pull it off? That's, I, that's a question I want to know. Well, to me, I love writing in rhyme. And um, I write in rhyme for picture books a lot because picture books are meant to be read out loud. That's mm -hmm. what they're written for. And so if there's not a sense of musicality, to me, half of the, not that every picture book has to be in rhyme, I think there can be really great musicality in straight prose, but if there's nothing that's going to fall interestingly or beautifully on the ear, then I don't, then there's no point. Right. And um, so it often comes out first in rhyme. To me, the really tricky part is revising rhyme, because it's like this tight braid, and if you pull one strand... Um, or if your editor suggests that you pull one strand, it... It just comes undone, doesn't crumbles. it? Yeah. You know what I love? I, I think I really particularly love the title, Noodle and Lou, because I found myself, after I read it originally, just kind of chanting the title. And it's almost <laughs> like a song, and it? it's like, or like a, a refrain. I just, I found myself going, Noodle and Lou, Noodle and Lou. It feels so good. Oh, in your, good. I'm in glad. In your mouth to say it. Now, one thing that one of the things that makes me most happy is the art um, by the inimitable Arthur Howard, and and you know that you and I share I know, Arthur. We share Arthur, <laughs> the Bell Book and Bell Books, which are like one of the things that I love so much that he's done. I love everything that Arthur Howard has mm -hmm. done, and I don't know how you felt when you were granted him, but I was over the moon when he said yes. To oh, it. I begged for Arthur. 
I begged for Arthur to do the um, the Bubba and Bo books. And you got them. I know. I felt like the world's luckiest person, and I think you were really lucky to have, have him do this book. Do you have a favorite page that you want to share with everybody? Um, oh, gosh, I have so many favorite pages. One of the things that I love that Arthur did in here is um, he added these little speech bubbles and right. signs, and those weren't part those. of my text. So, for example, this one... Um, says Wiggly Field. <laughs> Speaking a, of sports he, fans, they met like Arthur that. Arthur definitely is a punster. He and is a punster, he, and he just adds humor. One of the neat things that he did in this book is that there's a line. I'll see if I can find it. Um, Noodle, the worm, is feeling really badly about himself, and one of the things he says is, My head has no eyes, Noodle said, feeling glum. So life's a surprise, Lou said to his chum. So the reason I wrote that line is in doing my worm research, which I did when I was writing this book, I discovered that worms don't have eyes, which I didn't know that previously. I had no idea. And Arthur, when he was working on this book, um, discovered that that's really difficult because in order to depict a character with mm -hmm. expression... A lot of it happens yeah, in the eyes, it sure does. which is why Noodle is wearing a baseball cap in this book. And I just love it and how it can look sort of down and out mm -hmm. in the beginning. His hat, yeah, like he's a lost and, soul and in the there. Rain. Just, just oh, um, poor Noodle. Really and then by the out. end, it really looks pretty darn perky. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> isn't that. But it's the same hat. And isn't that the way we want every story to end? <laughs> yeah, I love that, I, don't I, you? I think so. I think so. Well, Liz, congratulations. Thank you, Kathy. It's a wonderful book. So Thanks for having Noodle me. It's Noodle and Lou, everybody, by Liz Garten Scanlon. And Arthur Howard. And Arthur Howard. Thanks. Adios. Adios.